Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for January. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of January. So it's whenever it resonates in January. It may not resonate at the beginning. It may resonate at the end. Bits and pieces may resonate for you. Bits and pieces may not. Keep in mind that if you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is probably not for you. This reading is for somebody who really, really needs it. Somebody is about to close some sort of door. Letting go. Letting go. Some anxiety. Some um, sleepless nights. Depression. Being released. Ooh, opening your heart, Cancer. Emotionally available. So it looks as though you guys have a full, full cup. You know? Uh-oh. And if it's and if you are the cancer woman, you could be coming into contact with somebody who is has really good intentions. This is a male that has really, really good intentions. Or masculine. But there's a reluctance to move on. The Six of Swords, reluctance to move on from something. You may be feeling a little mentally trapped. You know, you're in your own prison. You've got yourself in your own prison over something. So this could be the other person. It could be you or it could be the other person. And this could be the other person you're dealing with. Somebody is trapped. Somebody is trapped in their thoughts, in their own little prison. Uh-oh. Now, we have, th we have uh, five cards. Four out of the five are thoughts. Your, your thoughts are getting the best of you. That's no joke. You may be thinking negatively. Now, there's a lack of communication here. A lack of truth, perhaps. Now, somebody has good intentions... But, and that could be you, it could be the other person, it could be either one, but somebody may not be telling the truth. Interesting. And, but you could be releasing your, I don't know, we'll get some more cards. Ooh, yikes, the death card. Wow, this is a rebirth, right? Endings bring new beginnings transition but this is it's a contradiction because this is I don't want to transition this is this is a card of transition it's reversed I don't want to transition but this is a need to transition this is release and this is release so something needs to be released your fears your thoughts your negative thoughts need to be released ooh now, you may fear that you're going to get yourself involved in a one-sided situation. <coughs> or you may fear that you, because uh, this is fear, it is. You keep yourself trapped because of fear. I gotta get a drink. Somebody is like not reciprocating fully. So you may be involved in a one-sided situation. And maybe you don't know it yet <clears throat> because somebody's being dishonest. And we have this one here. You know, you may decide, I don't know, let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, boy. Interesting. gracious now if you are a cancer male you could be dealing with a Taurus because this is Taurus this is Taurus you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or you could just be dealing with a woman that is very stable and secure and she's got a really big opportunity in her hands okay so you could you know have your eye on a woman that really has her shit together but this woman also knows that she has her shit together she's very grounded she's very practical she's very responsible 
If you are the Cancer female, this could be you taking on this energy. It absolutely could be. You have an opportunity that somebody wants, okay? There's a female in this mix that has a really good opportunity in her hands. She's a keeper, okay? She's a keeper. She is uh, beautiful. She's kind. She's compassionate. She's genuine. Um, usually, she's genuine. genuine. She is... Um, experienced she's definitely grounded and she's very nurturing I mean these are these are both this is like the earth mother okay so we have a very nurturing individual here that you know I'm not sure if this individual that you're dealing with is wanting to uh, give up their independence okay so you may be in a situation, I mean, this woman, she's, she's, she's got everything she needs right in her hand. She really does. She does. She's stable and she's secure and she's very, very comfortable with who she is. Trust me, I know who this woman is. Okay? So uh, we have, and it's the same woman. The same woman. So we have this woman, if you look what's on the side of this woman, okay? This woman right here is you know upright it's the independent woman you know she's happy and she's independent right she's happy she's independent she's abundant this is basically the empress in the minor arcana it is not quite as wise but damn close okay so if you look there's a lack of abundance on each side of her so yeah she's abundant She's abundant, but she may not want to give up any of her abundance. She doesn't want to give. She doesn't want to give. So she may not want to give up her singlehood. So you may have your eye you may have your eye on the prize, and the prize may be looking outside of the situation. She's not looking at you. She's not. She's looking out. She's looking out, okay? You may be looking at her wanting a new beginning, but she may not be you know, she has so many options, this woman. She And like I said, the, this, this woman knows. She has so many options. She is the pick of the litter. She knows that she has options. So she may decide, I don't know who this, this woman is. And this could be you if you are the cancer female. This is a woman. This is a woman. And, I don't, and you can't make that shit up. And people can, but I don't. Anyway, um, there's a lack of cooperation, a lack of togetherness, a lack of compromise here. And this <laughs> I know who this woman is too, okay? Um, she's a Taurus, okay? She could be a Libra, but in this, I think she's probably a Taurus. Um, she, and you gotta see what's looking. She doesn't wanna put in effort. She doesn't wanna give, okay? She doesn't wanna give. She's, there's some dishonesty here. So I really feel as though you could be dealing with an individual in which you have emotional feelings for this is for cancer sun moon rising and venus by the way you may have you know feelings you know heartfelt genuine intentions of starting something with this woman and she's not even interested so if you are the cancer woman it could go this could be you it could go either way but it feels like we have a woman who's not really i mean she's looking out she's not looking at you she's not um, if you're the male, so I'm not sure. I'm just telling you what I see. There's death, this is there's, there's dishonesty here. And there's an ending here in between two people, okay? There is. There's an ending. Death is an ending. So, you know, there's no compromise with this woman because she's so, I mean, I have to tell you, the Empress is very much set in her ways. Very set in her ways. She has gained through life experience. She has gained wisdom, Okay. She's not going to settle. She is absolutely, she's not going to settle for any anything that less than she deserves. She knows what she deserves. And it looks like she, this person, is kind of mentally trapped. She's, she's trapped in some way about what she deserves. She may think that, you know, she deserves more. She deserves more. And these right here, these sixes reverse, is a lack of, of harmony here. There's a lack of... Uh, balance so I feel like she doesn't want to give up that whoever this person is doesn't want to give up she, they don't want to give up their <sighs> something mm -hmm. 
Now, who, this person, this person is has probably dealt with somebody in the past that was abusive, verbally, mentally, physically, whatever the case is. This is uh, this is abuse. You know, and so therefore they don't they don't feel like you know, they're really f afraid. They're afraid to get themselves stuck in another predicament. So whoever you're dealing with, say you're the cancer man and you want to offer somebody love and this person is pushing you away because that kind of looks like this may be the case. They're pushing you away because they were dealing, they dealt with an individual who was abusive. And now they're, they're, they're fearful. They're definitely fearful um, to have a new beginning. To put in any effort. To give up my singlehood. I'm scared to give up my singlehood because I don't want to get abused again. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah. I don't want to play games. I don't I don't want to play games. And there's a lot of... They don't... You know, it's like beginning to realize that there's um, no need. There's no need to, for these power struggles. You're dealing with a person that is reluctant. So, Cancer, I think that you may have your eye on somebody... Or this could be you. Could go either way. There's somebody in this dynamic that is reluctant to, you know, have a new beginning. It's I'm I'm really really reluctant to engage um, because there's was an injustice in the past. I'm, I'm I'm there was an injustice in the past. There really was. Okay, there really was. I mean, there definitely was an injustice. I mean, there's. Uh, lies. There's somebody's not telling the truth as well. I mean, there's dishonesty here. Somebody is absolutely not telling the truth. They don't want to be held accountable. Now, somebody's not telling the truth. I don't know who it is. You're dealing with either it's you and, I, and either it's you or it's the other person. Somebody's not telling the truth about whether they're committed to somebody else or whether they're still in love with somebody else or you know whether they've actually closed the door with the past. Somebody's definitely not telling the truth and there's definitely there's some bad karma here as well. Oh, goodness gracious. Hee <laughs> So we have, like, somebody that's focusing on the past hurts to a point where they're not accepting an opportunity for love. So you may be offering somebody your heart, and they may be rejecting it, or vice versa. Or vice versa. Because there's too much tension. It's like I... I'm too reluctant. And you may, maybe you just need to have patience with this person because this is patience is needed. This person feels like they can't trust because they've been lied to in the past. You're dealing with a person that can't trust, whether it's you or them. There's a, I don't trust. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Whether it's you that doesn't trust or they don't trust, there's a lack of trust here. And therefore, there's an opportunity that could be slipping away. Patience is needed. Uh oh. Yeah, somebody's not willing. Somebody's not willing to open their heart. They're not. Somebody is like. Oh, goodness gracious. Literally unavailable emotionally. You're dealing with somebody who's just not. They're too set. They're too set in their ways. They're not. They're not going to change. They're not going to reciprocate by there's no reciprocation here you could be dealing with somebody that's not reciprocating right now there's not a reciprocation of the love that you're offering i think that you got genuine offer of love cancer and whoever it is that you're dealing with is not reciprocating fully and uh they're not telling you the whole truth and i think that you know that i think that your intuition has been telling you that something is wrong and i think that something is wrong i do think that something is wrong i think that somebody may be uh, only involved because they don't want to be alone you know I mean there's a lack of awareness here where or well, I don't want to be alone too it's like a midlife crisis kind of situation where you know I need attention I need I need attention but I really don't want to give up my
space, you know what I mean? This person wants attention, whoever it is that you're dealing with. They want attention. They like the attention, but they also like their alone time. You know what I mean? They really like, they do, they do. They really like their alone time. And I feel like that on one hand, you know, because we have this imbalance here, on one hand, they love the attention that they're getting from you. But on the other hand, they just want to be alone. You know what I mean? So they do want to be alone, but they don't want to be alone, but they don't really want to commit by the looks of things. I don't think this person really wants to commit. No, there's nothing long-term solid here. This is, this is an opportunity. You have some, it's a lost opportunity, okay? Something that's not going to last. So I think you may be offering your heart, I'm sorry, or somebody may be offering their heart to you and that isn't going to lead to anything stable and secure. And I'm sorry to give you this message. I know that people don't want to hear that. They want to think the positive. But I can't, I mean, that's not, this isn't fantasy land. This is not fantasy land. And I'm not going to be the one to fill you up with that fantasy. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm not. I am reality girl. I'm Taurus Vir Virgo Capricorn with a sh shitload of Gemini. So... I am absolutely reality girl, so that's what you're watching right now. Um, but anyway, you're dealing with somebody that's not reciprocating fully, and it's not going to last. And I'm sorry to tell you that. Because whoever you're dealing with, whether it's you or them, they're emotionally unavailable. And if it's in the female has multiple, multiple, multiple options. The fem This is the female, the me feminine and you guys can try to pretend, you know, if you're the male, oh, cancers are feminine. This is the female. The female in this dynamic has multiple options. She does. She is absolutely glowing. She's beautiful. She is the earth mother. She's the mother. She's the mother. She's, she's the pick. Okay? She's the pick. She's the one that can make things grow so if you are the female watching this whether you're the cross watcher or you're the female or you're this is the one that you have the eye on this woman has multiple options and she also has fears because you got to see what's mirroring it she has fears she has fears of being abused so she may not be reciprocating fully and she may be you know not telling you the whole truth about a something or she may be suspecting that you're not telling the truth. Or that somebody else isn't telling the truth. There's definitely a lack of truth here. There is. And this is something that may go sour. So I'm not going to pretend, okay? This is like an incompatible situation. There's no compatibility here. So it looks like, I'm sorry, I don't really want to post this kind of reading. But I have to be genuine and re real. I have to be. This is who I am. I am grounded, I am practical, and I am real. Somebody is involved in a situation that's not real. It's not real. And I'm sorry to tell you that. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, I think I may have said it at the beginning, you should not be watching this reading. This is a split. The connection is not going to be long term. Somebody's not telling the whole truth. They're not. Okay? Somebody is not telling the whole truth. You see that? They're not. They're not. Okay? They're not offering you something long-term and stable. This person could be dealing with you because they need attention. They're attention-seeking. And maybe they're the abuser. I don't know. Only out to hurt others. I don't care who I hurt at this point. That's what this is. It's not maybe maybe they're not out to hurt others. Maybe that maybe that's not their intention, but they don't care if they do. It's about me. Very self-centered. Somebody is is very self-centered here. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, I think that you are probably going to feel a little troubled because you're going to come to some realization that the person that you are offering your heart to is not fully reciprocating, being honest. And they're not emotionally available. They're not. And you're going to have to find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the wisdom to let it go. If you were to look up the strength card, it's the strength to let go. Because you deserve somebody that's going to reciprocate. You deserve balance. And you're reluctant. I see that you're going to be reluctant to let go of some sort of abuse and neglect. It's time to move forward quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Move in a new direction. Stop wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time communicating with somebody that there's really... It's not going to... Grow, okay? There's no growth. There's no growth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry to give this kind of message, but I cannot fill you up with a pile of bullshit. If I did, they would not trust me. And I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Somebody's in a situation that's not going to last. I'm sorry. There's no compatibility. It was, I think it has, uh, it started out because of companionship, you know, companionship and not wanting to be alone. This attention feels good. And then it's like, no, but I still don't want, I don't want a commitment. I don't want a commitment. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. It's reversed. It's reversed. I don't know what to say. You have to make a choice. You have another option. Choose wisely. It's a card of consequences. Now, this is a card of consequences as well. Oh, these are, this is choices, and this is choices. This is consequences. This is consequences. Here we have karma, and this is bad karma because it's reversed. So I don't know if you've made a wrong choice in the past. For example, let me just give you an example here. <laughs> Say you cheated. Or you were involved in a third party situation in the past and you didn't think it was ever gonna there was ever gonna be any payback, you know, you didn't think that there was ever going to be any repercussions for that. Karma never loses an address. There's consequences here, so I feel like you may have fallen for someone and karma has come to kick somebody in the ass, and I'm sorry, but I think that's what this is. You only become the empress th through learning some serious lessons. So anyway, you need to make another choice. You need to make a decision. This is make a decision to focus on the future. Focus on, 
you know, making, doing the right thing. The Empress makes decisions based on, you know, her worth. You have another option. Make sure you choose wisely and make sure when you're choosing, you think about the consequences. And I'm not saying you guys did anything. I'm not saying this could be the other person's karma. There's bad karma here, whoever it is. Somebody has some bad karma that they're dealing with, and I'm sorry to tell you, but that is the case. There's consequences for not making the right decision, for letting yourself get seduced by somebody that is not available, you know, or whether you're doing the seducing or whatever. Payback is always, karma is absolutely positively a bitch, disguised as a bitch. So anyway, um, and it comes when you least expect it. So I think that there's a dose of karma being served and somebody is, may have fallen in love with somebody or fallen for somebody and there's not going to be any reciprocation. There's not. There's not. So I do apologize, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Put yourself in the driver's seat and head in a new direction. Head in a new direction, Cancer. That's my advice in January. Drop this. Learn this karmic lesson, whatever it is. Take it as that and head in a new direction. Good luck. Now, above all, the overall energy in this reading, the middle card, death. We have an, a major ending here. This is a major ending. Completion. Done. You master your emotions, head in a new direction. You will have a new beginning elsewhere. So this is a month of a major ending in your life. It's, a, it's ending of a karmic situation as well. A karmic debt is going to be paid off. So look at it in that scenario. One karmic debt is going to be paid through a completion, through a loss, through an ending. Good luck.